The lunchtime crowd lined up in front of the Link Center, holding signs and banners promoting tolerance and civil rights for homosexuals, lesbians, and transgendered people. It's not talked about here in town, and, and it, it needs to be because because we're here. Standing with the demonstrators, Joe Wilson, whose Emmy Award winning film Out in the Silence was screened. The movie looks at the uproar that erupted when Wilson's local paper in Pennsylvania published a wedding announcement for himself and his same sex partner. Wilson says the American Family Association of Pennsylvania encouraged supporters to write the paper, voicing their concern and criticism. The organization that started this whole effort, the American Family Association, is based here in Tupelo. And the reason I say that they started it is because that they were behind a very uh, active effort to stir bigotry and hate in my small hometown in Oil, of Oil City, Pennsylvania, and that's where the stories in the film take place. On its website, the AFA says it unashamedly takes a biblical stand on the issue of homosexuality and also states it doesn't hate homosexuals. But participants in the rally claim the AFA misleads the public on the hot-button issue. It is certainly true that the AFA does not ask people to take baseball bats and club other people over the heads with them. However, they regularly describe, for instance, gay men as child molesters, as Nazis. Uh, I don't think that they can ingenuously uh, claim that they have no idea that this would lead some people to act out against gay people. They're basically what the name of the holiday is Give Hate a Holiday and that's to any organization or to any person out there just to take a day and think about respecting other people's rights. Initially, demonstrators planned to march on AFA headquarters. Those plans, though, were canceled because of safety concerns due to traffic. We asked AFA to respond to the demonstrators and their allegations. Ministry officials declined to comment. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.